I'm Faith Suwe. I'm a makeup artist, a mother, and a uh, black woman in South Africa. <laughs> I grew up in a household of uh, strong women. My grandmother was like Martha Stewart, Susie Homemaker. She was one of the most intelligent women I, I, you know, I've known. And my mom was that too. My grand grandfather was the, the working guy who goes to work on Friday, brings back the paycheck and, you know, present to the, but I grew up in a, in a grandparents' household with my cousins, but I was always creative. And so, but to a point that my teachers thought that I would go into like commerce or something like that, but they were disappointed when I chose the arts. But I've always known that I'm a creative being. My dolls were the best dressed dolls because and I used to play with my grandmother's hair. So every hairstyle that I see in the streets, I come home and practice on my grandmother. At the age of 10, I was plaiting people's hair for 4 and 50. So I was already trying to make uh, uh, some money, you know? So I loved movies, I loved books, I loved reading. So I never wanted to ask my mom for child good moving child to buy books. You know, professionally as a makeup artist, I started in 1990, but I had been doing makeup a little bit there and there, but like as a beauty consultant. So I started out as a beauty consultant, went into hairdressing, went into teaching hairdressing, and then eventually went into my real passion, which was makeup artistry. And I went for my training in 1990 and then from there, I went and for Bob TV, and then from Bob TV, ran my own salon, and then since 1997, I've been freelancing. Kiku get it back. Uh, my mother, who was caught between the rock and hard place, because she wanted to support me as a creative child, but she was worried because she knew that the stability of the creative side of industry is not as you know it's a little bit of a rocky uh, road but uh, uh, when i finished my trick i knew that i wanted to be a makeup artist because already i'd already started with the hair stuff and at the time my mother had just finished not of a city she went to varsity late at like the age of 39 she went to do her first degree so when I went to boarding school, to high school, my mom went to varsity to do her first degree. So when eventually she came back, she was she had two degrees. And I said to John, I said, this is what I want to do. My, mo my mother was trying to discourage me. And, but eventually I said, you know, this is what I want to do. And she was supportive. So I went and did a, a, a beauty consultant course, which was like, it was cheap, but at the time I couldn't do the makeup artistry course, but my mom just started hotel, started working. So she was still trying to find herself in terms of financially. So she couldn't afford to. So she says, if you want this, you're gonna have to find a way. So I went and did makeup, a, a beauty consultant course. And I started selling makeup door to door, which wasn't great. Uh, eventually, I, uh, you know, went into hairdressing. And years ago, I was invited as an African Africa's representative in Greece uh, to sort of represent Africa at a Global Face Art Symposium. Uh, they had about two hundred makeup artists from all over the world and they had probably about 10 makeup artists who were going to present and to walk in as a black woman with dreadlocks and I I had 
the most amazing to be on stage and to uh, uh, part of my presentation was that I should I, to do African makeup from two different like authentic African makeup and then so the African makeup side of things to choose uh, Basoto makeup Bali to choose my closer this is part of me my mom is so to my dad is closer and to stand there to tell them stories about where I come from as a mixture of Kosa and Basut. And I researched and told stories about Chubediso. So those kind of things will always be memorable in my head that I went out into the world and I represented my heritage, I represented my country, and I, I left a mark. I, was, I never doubted being here, wanting to be here. And I was a single mother, and I, I knew at some point my kids were like, Mama, maybe you should try. And I never, ever wavered. I knew that I had something to say, something to do with my hands. I, I, never, I never wanted to quit, you know. Even now with the new sort of Instagram world where there's a lot of people that think that they're a makeup artist, and that has sort of shifted and changed the way things are in our industry. But the, the, I only say that I have a voice, I have a place. They can come, but the people that I, my audience will always come to me. You know what I mean? And these clients will always come to me because they know what product I'm gonna deliver for them. Carrying my suitcases and going to work as a mobile service, as exhausting as it can be, as challenging as it can be, I will never regret having made the decision to want to contribute to making a pretty picture, contribute towards giving a woman confidence, contribute towards giving that bride a smile on her wedding day, and being the bodyguard for the bride against the crazy bridesmaids, I will never regret that. It's, it's a passion that at my age, I'm still, it's still burning red in my belly. The one lesson that I've uh, learned and has kept me driven and continuing and moving forward and that I've always say to my kids, know who you are, know that you have a voice and your voice is valid. And whatever you choose, your passion must always be at the forefront because no matter what challenges you experience along the way, your passion will carry you through. No matter if you walk into a room and anybody, like when I started out as a freelancer, when I walked on set and you find like stylists that have been there for a long time and they would just look like maybe they didn't know who i am i'm this black girl with blonde hair you know and nobody knew who i was and the thing that i had was my passion i knew what i wanted i wanted to change the way black women were seen on the covers of magazines i wanted them to so i had a voice i had something that i wanted to say and that is the one thing that will carry you through everything that you go through in the industry.